there are times in my life that it is appropriate and expected to say I love you. When I get married, on our anniversary, on a birthday, on a date, time where my wife and I spend together. But then there are other times that I just want to say I love you. She's on my mind. And I need to tell her. The problem is, I love you just doesn't mean as much as I want it to mean. The language just stops short. It doesn't carry the meaning that, that it should. And it's times like those that I just wish I could say it clearer. I wish it could express everything I, I feel and everything I'm thinking about. Now, thankfully, I'm, I'm a maker, and I, I know a different language. And that's the language of time, effort, patience, and thinking about what I can do to say I love you. And rather than a language of words and verbs and pronouns and English, it's a language that, that speaks with their hands. It's a language that is expressed in a thought, in an image. When you look at something that was handmade for someone else, it, it really carries on a, a life that is very different from something that was mass-produced and purchased and given. There's a, a, an energy, a thought that cannot be held by a thing in any other way than if it were handmade for a specific person in mind. It's these projects that I really cherish. I love spending this time, this effort, to express that thought in a way that honestly can't be said any way else, but in a handmade project for my wife. So we finally come around to this project. I wanted something that was different, something I haven't made before, something I haven't said before. And so I, I got some firewood and just started planing and cutting and fitting. Something about nice tight joinery that just says, I love you. Something about clean lines, and effort expended that says, I love you. And all of these details can go together into a project and speak volumes. It's not the big and bold things and the great and grand things in life that can express the words we want to say. It's those moments, those details, those small, intricate changes. Those can say I love you in ways that words never could. And when you really put in the effort and you create something that's unique, that's when I find that I can say I love you the most. Not in big and grand words, but in the simple effort of letting the project say it for me. This was a seriously fun project and uh, I hope my wife likes it. I'm going to be giving it to her tonight and so it should be a, a fun time. I like to a lot of times just do something because, uh, just because, and I think that's one of the greatest reasons. So this was a fun project to make um, using the oak uh, firewood. This particular piece of firewood is fantastic with a lot of curl in it and uh, a beautiful piece. I just wish I had enough to do all four sides. So I just had to do this uh, riven piece on the back, but it is all uh, white oak. And uh, 
I'm in love with it. So I hope my wife likes it too. Uh, if you did like this video, please hit like and think about subscribing. Uh, I do want to say a thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal and a great encouragement to me. Uh, if you did like this video, you might find you like one of these others. And until next time, have a wonderful day.